Well, hey folks, and welcome back to the channel. I think you're really going to like this one. If you've seen this car, you know what I'm talking about. This is the Dempsey Proton Racing Porsche 911 RSR GTE, the number 88 car. And if any of you have watched any races in the WEX series, if you've watched Le Mans, this is a livery that I'm sure you recognize instantly, although the colors do change. Uh, and this one goes all the way back to 2018, but I, I think this livery has been around at least for five or six years, maybe longer than that. Now, the Porsche 911 RSR is my one of my favorite cars. It is definitely the best-sounding GT car I think I've ever heard anywhere, and I, I've seen quite a few of these here in the U.S. at the IMSA races. Uh, but they were designed by a guy named Grant Larson. Thank God for him. And built by Porsche to compete in the FAI GT category as well as the IMSA GTLM category. Now the engine is the legendary M9780 naturally aspirated flat six producing about 503 horsepower. And if you remember with this car, they moved the engine forward. Uh, so it's actually more of a mid-engine car than a rear engine car like the Porsche 911 GT3 to account for the massively huge diffuser uh, that they have in the back, and also, I think, for balance with the rear wing and everything else. Uh, but uh, as I'm sure you probably know, IMSA and, and the FIA are adopting the less expensive and universal GT3 platform from here on out. IMSA actually did it a year ago. It took, uh, it took the FIA and then the WEC about a, a year to do the same. But unfortunately, we're going to be stuck with GT3s from here on, which I think is a loss for all of us. Uh, now, Dempsey Proton Racing, also known as Team Feldmeyer Proton, is a German racing team founded by Gerald Reed in 1996. And here's a good look at the front of the car there. I'm just absolutely gorgeous. Now, the team is based in Umendorf, Baden, Württemberg, and competes in the FAA WEC and the European Le Mans Series and started in 1997. Now, in 2015, as you know, the team merged with actor Patrick Dempsey Racing and competed at the 24 Hours of Le Mans. Now, this car is their 2018 car and had a, a pro and an amateur lineup. And one of the things that I do like about Spark, and I'll move this around here and show you, is they always have the names of the drivers on the side of the bases. And the bases are wood. I, I mean, I really like the wood bases. They just feel rich. Comes with a nice jewel cover. The boxes are usually pretty cool. This one, as you can see in the background, clearly, you know, tells you it's got the 24-hour Le Mans there. You, you can see it if you just tune in there and you look at the background and everything. They do a really, really nice job on these. Unfortunately, these are not limited edition cars, which is kind of disappointing, but, you know, I don't really buy them for that reason anyway. Anyhow, uh, the drivers in this one, the one you see first is Matteo Caroli, an Italian, and he's the bronze-rated 22-year-old in his second 24 hours of Le Mans. Now, Giorgio Rota, also an Italian, is a silver-rated 24-year-old rookie, and by rookie I mean his first year competing at Le Mans. And Khalid al Kubase is a bronze-rated 42-year-old in his sixth 24 hours of Le Mans. And I suspect that's why you see Abi Dabai racing there, uh, um, you know, he, he being the, you know, the bronze-rated driver and the gentleman driver of the group that, you know, <clears throat> is probably his racing team, or the name of it anyway. But he and Matteo Corolli have a history that goes back, and they placed second in the WEC GTM series in 2017. That was just the year before this. He also had a first place finish in the 24 Hours of Dubai in 2012 and 2013. So guys, you know, he's, he's a pretty solid amateur uh, uh, gentleman driver. I really like this car, uh, you know, this being a Spark 143 scale, as you know, Spark are among my favorite brands. In fact, probably my favorite brand. They just make anything and everything, and this and this car is just a perfect example of it. I, I just I really love this livery, and it comes in so many different colors depending upon the year and the driver lineup. It varies from the white, gray, and black livery that you have here to to green, to blue, to orange. There's always an element of black and gray in all of them. It just varies with the other colors. If you look closely, the interior detail is very nice and. You can actually read the names of the drivers on this car. Some things you can't do a lot of times, particularly, you know, with my bad eyes. Now, here's a cool view of it from the rear. Again, you've got that massive diffuser. Uh, you can see the exhaust there. They do come out the back. They're almost kind of hard to see, but they're right there, right next to the tow hook. 
You've got the rear wing on there, Dempsey Proton Racing. Now, if you look in there, you can you can kind of see the uh, can't really see the engine, but you can see the engine cover on there. And as you can see, it's grooved to provide airflow in and out of there. You've got some aerials on the top of the car as well. If we take a look at it this way, you can really see just how cool that livery is and how well it blends.